and prepare more questions than you will have time to ask. Uh, it's better to run out of time than to run out of questions and, and just be kind of sitting there looking stupid. So have a long list of questions and arrange them uh, in the approximate order that you expect to ask them. Uh, you shouldn't just have your nose on the paper going down the questions like a checklist. Uh, you should try to you know, focus on the person sitting across from you and try to keep it as much like a natural conversation with them as possible, but glance at your questions every now and then and try to keep the conversation on track. So the order of questions should just be approximate, but there's three patterns to follow. Uh, long then short, easy then tough, or vital then weird. Uh, <laughs> long, then, long then short means there's some questions for example, the uh, Old Testament versus New Testament question relating to um, uh, the day the earth stood still. I mean, it took me a while to ask that question because I had to explain all the different things that I wanted to talk to him about and then, like, kind of, what do you think? Uh, and if you read, if you read transcripts, so, interviews are sometimes published in Q&A format, um, which I don't really like, but I don't think we'll have time to get into that subject. But you'll often see these incredibly long questions from the interviewer, and then there's a little answer from the interviewee at the bottom. And all of, you're left with the impression this interviewer is just a jerk showing off their erudition and how much they know. So, but you may have to do that. You may have to show off uh, to impress the person that you're interviewing that you know their work, you've paid attention to it, and you're here to discuss it seriously and intelligently. And that may involve asking some very long questions. So I would say put those at the beginning of your interview. And once you have established that you are someone who will understand what they are saying, then keep your questions very short to give them the maximum amount of time to answer. So ask just enough long questions to win them over, to, to convince them that you're for real, and then step back and let them do all the talking. Because you, know, when you, you should be recording it. When you play your recording back later, you want to hear as much of their voice as possible and as little as your own. Uh, so get your long, a couple of long questions out of the way and then keep them very short. Uh, easy, then tough, uh, that's kind of self-evident, you know, if you have uh, a mix of softball questions and why did you do that tasteless offensive thing questions, ask the nice ones first, get things off on, a, on the right foot and maybe they won't be taken, so taken aback by the tough ones, uh, and, and if they are then at least you know, you've got some material to work with at the beginning. Uh, and then vital, then weird. Uh, there's a, there may be certain things you know you have to ask because you definitely want to have them in your article. So ask those first to make sure you get them in before you run out of time. But you should always have a few weird off-the-wall questions. Uh, so I, I wasn't able to come up with a very good recent example, but in, uh, I interviewed John Woo a number of years ago. And if you've ever seen his movies, you know they're, they're very violent, but usually in the final fight scene there's like these clouds <laughs> of white doves go flying across the screen for some reason. He just loves them. And I had read in uh, my research of him that mm. cooking is his hobby. He had mentioned that in several things. So I asked him for his poultry recipes. <laughs> oh. Oh. But uh, he didn't fall for it, he said. Because oh, I think I, I screwed up by having already talk, talked about doves a little earlier. Yeah. So it was an impression in his mind. But, uh, but anyway, he said, oh, I only cook vegetables and fish because I love birds so much. <laughs> But anyway, that's obviously not an essential question to ask, so save those for the end. If you have time, you can get kind of weird little details to add to your story.